So I had to pin that real quick so my team don't get me. But um, y'all know y'all ain't checking for me. Stop playing. Stop playing. Nah, I'm just kidding. I know y'all love me. Um, I woke up feeling great, though, which is how I pretty much feel every morning when I wake up. I usually wake up feeling good, right? Um, and I'm just thankful. So let me tell y'all what I've been on lately, right? And anybody who's been in my personal space can attest to this. I have literally been on, thank you. I see she bought a badge, Miss Tarver up in the house. Thank you. Um, Miss Millie 11 bought a badge. Thank you. I want some rosemary too, girl. I ain't cooking today though. I thought about it. I ain't throwing it in the oven today. But no, I have been in such a spirit of just thankfulness um, and just gratefulness. And if you really follow me, if you come to my story, if you've been coming to my story, Queen Sheba is on here. Hey, Queen Sheba. You will see that I have posted in the last, like, maybe it's been happening about a week or two, hashtag grateful. Like, that's just what's been on me lately. Just being grateful, being thankful. You know, we get so caught up sometimes in everything that's going on in our lives that we forget to just stop. And just be thankful, right? To look around and see everything that God has given us and the fact that we're even still here and being grateful for the people who are in your life, grateful for things being as well as they are. Like, I've been on that. And I've been, I've been on that with people in my personal space. I've been on that in correcting when people are complaining about stuff. And I'm like, but you complaining about this, but how about we switch this energy up? And so I literally had a conversation with my kids um, on what day I came on Sunday. And um, I was like, guess what, guys? How about, and it started from something, but I said, how about we just show God that we're grateful and we show God that we're thankful. So guess what? For example, because you know, you have to give kids examples, right? I said, so for example, even when you have to wake up in the morning at, let's say, 630, instead of saying, oh, I got to get up already, I say, how about we switch all that energy around and we say, thank you, God, that I'm able to get up, right? And so, of course, boss baby said, we got to get up at 630 in the morning. <laughs> force to be reckoned with my boss baby is i've been saying this for years now y'all done heard me say she ain't no joke she the one person even me trying to come back she the clap she takes my crown of clap back queen okay she said we gotta get up at 6 30 in the morning i said no not in the morning i said but you know like when school is in you get up at 6 30 i was like instead of why i gotta get up how about we say thank you god for waking up i said or even this when you have to go to bed at 8.30, right? Instead of saying, why I got to go to bed at 8.30, how about, oh my gosh, God, I'm going to feel so good when I wake up in the morning because I'm getting enough sleep. So I'm, you know, just the teaching of how you can switch the energy around from going from the negative piece, right, and going into the positive piece of things. You know what I'm saying? Um, and it's like, it can be life-changing for you. I'll tell you that. And I'm not telling y'all anything that I don't tell my kids, anything I don't tell my team, um, my people, my friends. Like, literally learning how to switch the energy up. Because we say all the time, whatever you release into the universe is what you get back, right? Whatever you give is what you're going to get, right? And so we say that, but are we living that? Because those are two different things. We say that. But are we actually living it? And it does take effort, right? It takes effort when you think about working to change maybe how you've lived your whole life or working to change what you saw and witnessed in terms of people responding and reacting to different situations in life and it being a negative instead of switching that thing up to positive. So we have to retrain ourselves, right? We have to teach ourselves better. This karma, that's something else people say. Karma, you reap what you sow. You know, all of those things. 
we've all heard, we've all been taught. Um, and we're quick to say that, but are you living that? Are you living in a space of gratefulness? Are you living in a space of, I want positivity? You know what I'm saying? Like, are you living it though? Easy to say it, easy to say it, but are you living it? And, um, you know, if you're a parent on here, and you have come to the knowledge, right, of different things that are okay, things that are positive, mindset. Are you teaching that to your children? And it ain't no too young, okay? It ain't no they too young. No, it's not. Um, I've said this before, and I will say it again. I want to feel that when I'm no longer here on this earth, if God choose to take me today, tomorrow, a week, a month, 50 years from now, whatever the case may be, Will my children have something that I've instilled in them where, that I've taught them to where they can say, my mama taught me this. I moved this way because my mama used to always talk about this. What are you putting in them that are lifelong, that are long standing? What, what are you instilling in your kids? And so <laughs> that is what we have to do with our babies. We have to retrain ourselves then we have to pass that on to our kids and they're never too young. Like when I see, I got a picture, I'll post it in a minute. So Tuesday, we were driving because I was taking them to meet my mom because I had to go on this trip. And um, boss baby says, oh, mom, will you take a picture? And I was like, take a picture of what? And it was a beautiful cloud in the sky. Beautiful, beautiful now, she's also done that here in my driveway before. It was a beautiful, and she said, Mom, there's God, and it was beautiful. Tuesday, she saw a cloud, and I ain't gonna it was beautiful. I'm gonna post it in a minute, because I took a picture of it. But teaching even your children how to be in a space where they are open to all of God's creation, right? Where they are open to seeing the magnificence of our creator, our God. And they recognize that. Because I don't want my kids to be like I see some adults where they just walking through every day. Hey, whatever comes, whatever goes, whatever happens, it just happens, right? I don't see anything. Stars. There are stars in the sky? No. Like, <laughs> I want my children to be whole in everything, right? Um, and so I work hard to teach them that kind of stuff. I do. And when I see them recognizing it, I ain't have to say nothing. She saw it. When I see them recognizing that, it makes it all worth it. It makes it all worth it um, because it's effort. It's effort that you that you put in whenever you take time to do that. So I just wanted to come on here really quickly and tell you guys that, one, I hope y'all are having a great week. Two, if you're not, switch the energy around. Three, let's walk in a spirit of thankfulness and gratefulness, okay? Um, and four, let's train up our babies even people who are around us that aren't our children, let's pour positivity into them. Let's share knowledge and wisdom with them, right? Um, and let's just, let's just make every day a great day on purpose. Let's make every day a great day on purpose, okay? Um, I love y'all so much. <laughs> um, I put in, I pinned it, but it's in my bio too. Um, Y'all know we are in the year of Revelation, so I launched a code yesterday, Revelation, for 25% off all skincare items, and I'm also about to make one for the Masterclass site, too, if, so if you want to buy some shirts, hats, t-shirts, push through, because God said, so God said, go, whatever you want to get at 25% off, I'm going to go add a code over there, too, but skincare is already 25% off, using code Revelation, because we're manifesting that thing, that God will continue to reveal who's who, who's where, what's going on, what's happening, right, um, but I love y'all, Happy Tuesday. If you need me, you know to DM me. Y'all DM me anyway. If you need me, DM me. I'll never mind dropping a prayer, dropping an encouraging word. Um, and we're going to keep pushing, okay? All right, everybody. I'll talk to y'all later.